Harden outside. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. So, Greg, when you think about the Phoenix Suns, what do you think fuels them the most? Kevin, I mean, the fact that they had a 2-0 lead in the 21 NBA Finals and lost. This team is really battling to get back to that stage. And if they do, they want to take care of business this time. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Booker inside. And the layup falls. Booker's got his second bucket. Boy, you see how confident Devin Booker is down low. Doesn't even think twice about looking to score in there. Here's KD. Hey. And he banks in the way. And the defense to start that play was terrific. I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. And here's Harden for three. It's hauled in by the Suns. And man, is this team on a roll right now offensively, Greg. So fun to watch. They're playing with so much confidence, well, like which is why match. they're tearing it up on this end. KD, that's for two. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And that's a foul. Called on Bradley Beal. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Substitution on the court. 153 left to play in the first. Entered on the wing. There's the three. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Kawhi is known as a low-key guy, but don't let that fool you. He's as competitively tough as they come. And over the years, we have seen Kawhi Leonard continue Doris to battle through injuries. Kevin, he has been a hot topic as it relates to that loaded word, load management. But we have to be fair. Kawhi has had a number of leg and knee issues. There is a certain amount of caution you want to take where his body is concerned. Booker with no one around. Good on the three-point shot. Booker's got seven. Boy, the delivery from Booker so clean. That jump shooting is pure. To the middle. Here's Coffee. That falls. Nice feed that time from Leonard. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Here's Allen. Booker, right side. Leonard with the steal. Now the Clippers moving it up. Stolen by Durant. It's Beal on the wing. The three. Another three for Phoenix. And we see several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Here's Highland. Oh, on target from three-point range. <laughs> Suns lead by three. It's Beal on the wing. There's Nurkic. One more. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And that's one of the things Nurkic does so well. Absorb contact and still be in control. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. Free throw good, Nurkic. 20 seconds left to play in the first quarter. It's Harden with the drive. The shot goes in, first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. How about the incredible handle from James Harden? That ball is on the string, so crafty. The defense has no chance. Here's Durant, and then Durant with the jam. So far, both teams scorching the heads. You gotta love it. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it, though, when your opponent does the same. And so it's Phoenix with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played <coughs> one quarter of action so far. 
And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Suns. I mean, they've come out aggressive defensively, getting into them. And, and... Coming up with some cookies along the way. Here's Highland. Right. Can't cash in from close range. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. The 2023 season DB had a bitter end for the Clippers in the first round of the playoffs. Now, Kevin, it is always difficult when the primary storyline for your team in a season is the injuries and the unavailability of your players. That is what cost the Clippers in the end. Ooh. And so Rick. Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you all, guys. Kevin Durant is dedicated to his craft, of course, but he relishes his connections off the court as well. He says, there's so much you can learn from being an NBA player. Life lessons in basketball, the business around the league. Every stop around the way is an experience for me to accelerate and be better in the next part of my life. Kevin? Boy, that's great perspective, isn't it? David, thank you so much. Boy, you love the tenacity. Defender all over him, and Paul George keeps his focus. And finished off by Beal. And he just dangles from the bucket <laughs> after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right Damn, now. Damn, all your triggers are going off. Pass to Zubat. Harden left side. Here's Mann. Misses the three. Hello. <laughs> You've heard people say it's a make or miss league. Is that all true? <laughs> it seems so, right? Shooting percentages correlate more yeah. with winning than possession stats, like turnovers, <clears throat> offensive rebounds. It's clear shot making has never been more valuable, but the ability to disrupt rhythm still plays a big role. Now here's Booker. Oh, yeah. the drive. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Well, a guard has got to come with physical intensity on the interior, and Devin Booker does just that. Kicks it out to Harden. The uses the glass to finish the way. I did not call the timeout. This Harden's got six points. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. <laughs> Suns lead by nine. The drive by Booker. Misses in close. Clippers with the ball. And Doris, how about Mason from last season changing to shoot set shots left-handed after almost a decade in the NBA? Uh, Kevin, this is one of the most remarkable things I've ever seen. To his credit, it worked. Career highs for Plumley from the field. So much of this is about confidence. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. And it's nice. Devin Booker with the rebound. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Last season GA, the Suns trading tons of picks, plus good young players 
all for Kevin Durant. And then this summer, trading for Bradley Beal, it's clear they're going all in, constructing a super team to try and bring Phoenix its first NBA title. Now here's Booker. 13 points in the game. O'Neal at the elbow. Six on the shot clock. Outside for Beal. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Beal's got the lead up to 11 now for Phoenix. Well, this guy shoots it with such tremendous efficiency. Bradley Beal provides the most important thing in the NBA, and that's floor spacing. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That'll be his second foul of the game. <laughs> With the steal. Pushing it up. Pushing it up. How? No one around him. You gotta, you gotta hold the crab right now. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Booker left side. Pass to Allen. A kick out to O'Neal. Five on the clock. Beal with it. Leonard picks him up. Ooh. And the shot is good. Beal's got 12. I like the commitment from Bradley Beal to take it inside and attack the defender. <laughs> Two minutes remaining in the first half. George looking around. You're not catching up. No good on the three. Oh. Oh. Suns leading by 13. Booker in the post. Count the basket. Booker's got eight here in the quarter. Yeah, that's not recent, really. Right now, that lead that continues Booker. to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Harden gets the bucket. Well, you love the assertiveness and also the balance of James Harden. He's taken the contact and still finishes. Inside. A nice shot by Booker. 17 points for Devin Booker. <laughs> when you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Now Beal. James Harden missing on the three. Hmm. O'Neal outside. And the dunk by O'Neal. Yeah, that's a great setup. Screen the Very defender so off and let him elevate. All right, and run the timing ideal. My goodness, the D with no chance to react. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. <laughs> he gets that one. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Look, some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Back to O'Neal. A drive by Beal. Can't hit from in close. And Leonard puts it up from deep three. And no good in the last second attempt this time. And so it's Devin Booker making Devin highlights Booker. for the Phoenix Sun. Him. He got into double Book digits him, for the quarter with 10 points total. Will return shortly. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Book him, Devin. Clippers trail by 16. The three from Harden. That's in for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him five for 12 so far. Boy, the hard dribble gets the defense on its heels. That is vintage James Harden right there. 
And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. The transfer of the Phoenix Suns last season to new ownership ended a tumultuous chapter for the team and for the league. The new leadership aggressively made the trade for Kevin Durant last year and for Bradley Beal this summer. It's a great roster and the Suns' $4 billion sales price reflects the sense that this Phoenix market is one of the sleeping giants in the NBA. Kevin? I agree. On the rise. David, thanks. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Now here's Beal. 14 points for him. Can't connect from short range. And load management, a term, Greg, that's been associated with the Clippers. And Kawhi rightfully managing his return from ACL injury with care. It's harder to build chemistry when guys are out, but it's all about staying healthy for the postseason. Here's Harden. Four on the clock. And so the ball's out of bounds. Powell touched it last. Yeah, and I think he was surprised to see that pass coming his way and just really reacted too late. Here's Beal. That's good again. His seventh basket, seven for ten from the floor. One of the most consistent scorers in the NBA right now, Bradley Beal doing work. Pass to Powell. Bumbley with the screen. Here's Harden. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Yeah, easy call. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And looking back last season, how about 87% from the line? So that's obviously nothing to sneeze at. James Harden brings tremendous versatility. He can score it. He can distribute. Whatever you need from him offensively, he can provide it. And the basket by a Kobe. Well, we see a lot of emphasis on three-point shooting nowadays, but you'll take that look right there any night of the week. In the corner, Harden. Here's Harden on the wing. Outside, George. And there's the drive. And then George with the jam. Now, Paul George is an exceptional athlete and demonstrating his insane dunking skills there. <laughs> Get this guy in the dunk competition. And George gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Both teams will make substitutions. You even. The shot's you good. Either. Beal's got six in the quarter. Well, this is how Bradley Beal just makes it impossible to guard him. Three-level score. This time he goes to the inside game. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. And the basket by Kobe. Uh, Kobe's got his second basket of the game. Yeah, you can see the defense broke down there, allowing him to get all the way to the hoop. James Harden. Harden's shot is good. I tell you, James Harden's ability to power through contact and finish with bodies around him is something else. Now here's Durant. Eight points for him. Fires from the wing. Kicks it out to Gordon. KD on the wing. Eyes again. Again, Phoenix. Kevin Durant does such a good job of reading the defense and attacking Ooh, any weakness he might anticipate. Pass to Powell. The three-pointer off the mark. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Durant, no good. Right. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with rhythm. And you look at Paul George, Doris, he really fits any system you can think of. Hey, Kevin, that's yeah, about two things, the skill though. set and the mindset. So if you need him to take over, he can change and get that line of thinking in his mind. You want him to play a secondary role, right, he can adjust fine. there mentally as well. Play two centers. You love to see Zubats get after it on the window. Use that size and strength. And so it's Durant with it. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. 17 points was their biggest margin. Now here's Durant. 10 points for him. Over to the wing. 
Here's a Kogi. Second shot opportunity. And the rejection by Zubats. Here's Beal. He takes it in. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First personal foul. Well, Bradley Beal's playmaking ability is drastically improved. Nice drive on that one. And he makes the first. And GA for Bradley Beal. Finally a chance to contend with these Phoenix Suns. Yeah, for so long, folks wondered how long Pete Lake was in a losing situation in D.C. Now he has an opportunity to play into June. Oh, what a pretty pass. Throw to the open spot. Lead your teammate perfectly. Outside for Durant. Oh, I should have heard that. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. <laughs> it's going to be a Mason Plum. You simply can't bite on the shot I mean. fake, but Kevin Durant makes that a tough task. Durant nails both of them. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Pass to man. They get it again. Back to Leonard. A second chance effort. And Ball sends it back. And that massive wingspan coming into play there. Ball uses it to perfection <laughs> to block shots. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Here's George. Bobo making hey, his Bobo, last shot. what are you doing? Outside, George. Here's Plumley, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And Phoenix gets called for the foul. The Clippers have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. How about the athleticism of Josh Okogie on that dunk? Wow, that's eye-popping.